So in my last video about the server, I talked about how my family is all accessing a Docker app called Overseer externally from elsewhere outside my network into my network in order to use the application. And I had a lot of people asking how I'm doing that. So today I wanted to walk through how I have my external access set up to Unraid using Cloudflare Tunnel. Now, the nice thing about the Cloudflare tunnels is that we don't have to do a reverse proxy, which some ISPs don't allow you to reverse proxy. Reverse proxies can get a little bit complicated. They don't always work exactly perfectly. So we're gonna avoid that whole issue. And then other people mentioned port forwarding, which is a security risk. And I don't really suggest you ever do that. Uh, Cloudflare tunnels work in a really nice, convenient way. The only cost is gonna be for a domain. So if you already have a domain that you can use, this isn't gonna cost you anything. And if you don't have a domain, domains are relatively cheap. You can get them for as low as like $10, $12 a year. Um, so they're not very expensive. It can be completely customized to whatever you want. And I'm gonna walk you through the process. So there's a website called TLD List, which will compare the prices of all the top level domains. You can go ahead and search for something if you want, find what you want. Um, all of these websites will tell you which domain is gonna be the cheapest, but we are gonna be doing this through Cloudflare so I would suggest you buy directly from them. They're as close to wholesale prices as possible, and it really does simplify the process. But if you don't buy through them and you buy your own domain, you're gonna have to link your domain to Cloudflare using their guide so that you can go ahead and follow through with the rest of this video. I will leave links for the TLD list and the way to link your domain to Cloudflare down in the description below. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a domain on Cloudflare. So we're gonna go ahead, if you have your existing Cloudflare, this is where you're gonna actually start that whole process, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and register a new one. So we're gonna go ahead and go here. I'm gonna search for one. We're gonna do, and let's go ahead and search. And let's see what we have available to us. So there's a range of options here, a range of prices. You know what, let's go ahead and be British today. We're gonna go ahead and grab the cadacdemo.uk. This is our payment option, one year for 522. You can multiply that. This one, the price does not change no matter how many years I have it. Some of them will have a cheaper first year price than multi-year prices. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me just go ahead and finish this purchasing process. All right, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and go into our domain here. The first thing I'm gonna suggest you do, we're gonna go into the SSL TLS. We're gonna go to Edge Certificates. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn on always use HTTPS. This is going to make sure that we're using the secure access for the websites. We're not gonna get any browsers yelling at us telling that we're, we're using an un unsecured website. This just helps a little bit in the future. Another thing you have to end up doing is setting up billing. Um, the Using the Cloudflare tunnel isn't gonna cost you anything, as I mentioned at the beginning, but you do have to have billing set up in order to use Zero Trust. So do make sure that you have something set up in terms of billing. And if you bought your domain through Cloudflare, you already have billing set up already because you had to buy your domain. So we're already good to go and you can skip over that. And the next step is hopping into Zero Trust. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into Zero Trust here. And this is just gonna be a unique name for your thing. So we're gonna do, and next. And you can choose the free option. We don't need anything here. Proceed to payment. And this is again, why you need to have your uh, billing set up here. All right, so now that we're in here, we can actually start setting up our tunnel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to networks, you're gonna go to tunnels, and you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a tunnel. Now we're gonna be using the cloud flared tunnel type. So you're gonna go ahead and select that. Now you're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call this one Unraid and make it a little bit easy to identify. We're gonna hit save tunnel. And then here, you're gonna go ahead and hit Docker since we're setting this up in Unraid. If you're using something else, you can use something else. I am setting this all up entirely as Unraid. And what you wanna do is you wanna copy the Docker script and then we're gonna to go to our apps and we're gonna go ahead and search for Cloudflared. 
And you want to get this one here, the Unraid Cloudflare Tunnel, the Figaro repository. I already have it installed, um, so I'm just going to be changing my token. Um, so once we go in here, the only thing that you have to set up is the token here. So yours will be blank, as mine is right now. You want to go ahead and paste in that script that we grabbed. You're going to go ahead and press home to get to the beginning, and we're going to get rid of everything before the actual token. So you see the word token there. We're going to get rid of the word token and the space after it. And there we go. Our token is there. We can go ahead and press apply. And we should be good to go. As I said, I already had it installed, so I just have to change the token over, but the installation is the exact same thing. You're just going to go ahead and plug in that token, install the app, and it should be pretty seamless. Now you wanna make sure that the Unraid Cloudflare tunnel is started, if not, and make sure you have that run to auto start. I would suggest you have it on auto start as well. Um, so get that auto started. Now the next thing you wanna do is just select the app that you wanna access external, and you can set up basically every app that you want if you want to. Let's go ahead and just set up one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab image. So we're gonna go ahead and do the drop down here. I'm gonna grab image, and this is gonna be our address, we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And we're gonna go back into Cloudflare. We're gonna to go to next here, and now we can set up our first tunnel. So we're gonna call this one Pix. We're gonna choose our domain. If you have multiple domains, they will be there. We're gonna go ahead and choose the CADAC demo. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select our type. Our type is gonna be HTTP because that is what the server is using. It's not using HTTPS. Then you're gonna go ahead and paste that URL in here and we can go ahead and save our tunnel. And quickly here, while we're on this page, we can see that the status is healthy, which means that Cloudflare is seeing that we set up the Cloudflare tunnel and the token is correct. So that is a good thing to see. If you see some kind of error or down, that means you did not put your token in correctly or the Cloudflare Docker app is not running. So make sure you go ahead and double check that and make sure that the status here says healthy. Now, if we wanna go ahead and add an additional one, we would go click on there, we would click edit, and we would go ahead and click public host name. We would add a public host name, and then we can add an additional one. If you are using an app that uses HTTPS by default, like Nextcloud, you would select HTTPS in the dropdown here. You would also go ahead and do additional application settings, TLS, and then you're gonna turn on the no TLS verify allow you to access the Docker app without any issues. So now if we go ahead and we click on our pix.cadacdemo.uk and we go ahead and we launch that, it should log right into our image, which is awesome. As you can see at the top here, we are accessing it through the URL that we set up. Everything's good to go. And now this can be set up with any of your external apps, and then you can give that out to whomever you want to have access to it. If you're using something like Home Assistant, for example, or even something like Image, where you want the an application on your phone to be able to access this, this is the way you would do that. And honestly, it's that easy. And now that we've done the bulk setup of everything, adding additional apps is extremely quick. You just go ahead and add an additional public host name. You can do that for as many apps as you want. It only takes a couple of minutes, and it's just, very, very simple. I'm super happy with this process. It makes things a lot more secure. Um, it's very easy to set up. It's very easy to change things as well, which I really, really like. And I've been using this for the last maybe seven months or so. It's worked very, very well for me, and I'm extremely happy with the results. And with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to get to them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, and big thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you want to see any of the videos relating to my server setup, um, server suggestions, all that kind of stuff, you can check the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.